This is Eugene Panrutkovich of the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo G50 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Lenovo G50 laptop computer. Before we begin, we have to remove all sources of power from this laptop and that means removing the battery from the bottom. This one does have a battery that does come out. To remove the battery, we stride the right lever to the right and the left lever to the left and tilt the battery out like so and remove it. While we're on the bottom, we can find the model number for this laptop. It is right here, it says Lenovo G50. And as far as I know, this should work for all versions of the Lenovo G50 laptop. Okay, next step is to show you the tools that I'm going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and zero is the screwdriver size. We have a pair of metal tweezers to remove any cables that may be stuck. And as a, used as a prying tool and to lift up adhesive tape. And finally, we have a hobby knife or exacto knife, and that's to remove adhesive tape. Okay, first step to remove the screen is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen. For this model, there's no screws securing the screen bezel to the screen assembly, so we can just snap it off. To do that, we put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift up and out and listen for snapping sounds. In this way we go around the screen. Some places it will be harder, some places it will be easier. If you get stuck at a point, just uh, come back to that point later when you snap it off at other places. But in this way we keep going and go all the way, do the same thing on the bottom and tilt it forward and the bezel just comes off. Okay, once we do that we want to remove the screen from the screen assembly. To do that we remove two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. These are the black screws, not these, not these silver screws. Okay, to do that, we tilt the screen back a little bit so it doesn't fall forward on you when you remove the screen, re screws, and remove the four screws. Two on top. And two on the bottom. Okay, once the screws are removed, we gently grab the screen by the metal tab and gently lay the screen down, like so. Okay, once we do that, we, uh, we have a connector that we need to remove, and that's the only thing that we need to remove to get to the screen itself. Okay, and to do that, we have to lift up adhesive tape first before we get to the connector. And we use our hobby knife to lift up a corner of the adhesive tape. And once we lift up the corner, we can use our fingertips to get a grip, good grip on the adhesive tape so we can lift it further up and gently remove the adhesive tape until the connector is exposed. Once the connector is exposed we slide the connector out like so. I'm going to push the connector back in to show you how it's properly connected. When you slide it back in you'll feel but not hear two clicks. Let's get a close-up of the connector. Okay pause the video right there. This is Okay, pause the video right here. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other.
Okay, let's remove the connector and let's take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch EDP screen and it has a glossy finish. So uh, the part number for this particular screen is NT156WHM-N12. So that's the screen part number you look up when you order the screen. When you do order the screen, uh, most likely it won't have the same part number, but it will have the same functionality and it will look exactly the same. Uh, the other thing to notice uh, is that this particular screen has a glossy finish. Uh, most screens these days have a matte finish instead. So if you prefer one type of finish over the other, you have to specify when you're ordering. It's a matter of personal preference. You can also order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons and what you get with us is uh, we offer compatibility guarantee. If we send you a screen that doesn't fit or doesn't work properly, we'll replace it at no charge. This exact same toolkit that I used in this video, it comes for free with the screen and in the United States the screen ships for free using priority mail. And we have a two-year warranty on the screen and free email technical support. If you live outside of the United States, we can ship it to most countries around the world. Just go to our store and follow the regular checkout procedure and select your country. To order the screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com. Uh, there will be a short form for you to fill out that will lead you to buy the right screen online and then you can purchase the screen. Once the new screen does arrive, you connect it to the connector, like I showed you. Mount the screen in the screen assembly, like this. And then put the four screws back in, two at the top and two at the bottom. And snap the screen bezel back on and put the battery back in. And that should be it. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.